That was a brand new look at Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown running on the most recent build of the game. So why do we have this? As many of you know, the recent PC demo and console beta got a lot of backlash as it had fans worried about the full release of the game next month. Because of this, the Test Drive account shared a post explaining that the console betas are running on an old build due to technical reasons so they can focus on fine tuning the game ready for release in September. Of course, this was expected and confirms that the console beta was similar to the Steam demo for PC players. Whilst it is a shame that the experience isn't the best due to this, they are a small dev team so we need to prioritise the final build of the game over making a more up to date beta for everyone to try out. Along with that, they also shared the updated gameplay. The first minute showcases improved graphics and lighting, driving through different environments and times of day around Hong Kong Island, including new areas of the map we are yet to see and more cars that will be included with the full release. Compared to what we've played before, this is already very reassuring and confirms that they have made a lot of improvements since the PC demo last month. My favourite part was the off-road segment as you can clearly see how much they've also improved the render distance with so much more being visible as you look off the side. There are still a few lighting and visual glitches that actually pop up in this gameplay which will hopefully be sorted over the next few weeks. More traffic can be seen on the roads compared to before which had the occasional traffic car. Lighting and reflections on the vehicles look a lot clearer and the shadow textures no longer have that fuzziness to them. Next up was the physics showing both grip and drifting using the updated model. Models. The drifting will definitely take a lot of getting used to, but it's great to see how much better it is now than what it was before. I already mentioned the traffic density before, but it's shown as its own little segment with more cars on the road, definitely adding more liveliness to the game. Tire smoke is a lot more visible than what it was previously, whether you're doing a burnout or drifting. A big one for many of us are the sounds, which is said to be improved. I'm awful when it comes to what cars sound like in real life compared to a game, so I couldn't tell you if any of them sounded accurate or not, but I assume it will also mean sounds in general as they finally got rid of the annoying backfire which sounded like fireworks going off. Another big one which is presented poorly in most racing games these days is the sense of speed and looking at the Regera clip you can see there is a slight camera shake when travelling at a high speed as well as the field of view becoming wider. Overall it was great of them to show us what this game currently looks and plays like with it being so close to launch however my only complaint is that console players also need an updated look of what they will experience especially with the two graphical modes which are 1440p at 30fps and 1080p at 60fps. For the quality mode I'll say it will look similar to this footage but locked to 30fps and for the performance mode expect an all round hit to visuals and render distance. I'm still looking forward to Solar Crown as it's been over 13 years since the previous one. Let me know what you think of the new gameplay in the comments and I'll catch you again soon in another video.